Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Canon uh, Pixma IP3000. Basically, if you're having any print quality issues, a certain color just isn't printing or an overall print quality issue, uh, I'm going to show you the method that is going to go ahead and be able to solve that problem. Now the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to lift this up and right when you do that, your print head should come to the middle. Okay, once your print head is in the middle, I want you to notice something here. Now if you notice all this ink that we're going to look at, it's all full. So this person, what they did was they ran ink that was almost completely empty. And then what they did was they tried fixing it by putting in brand new ink. No, that hasn't been used at all. So what causes this problem is running your ink all the way low to the bottom. That's what ends up drying out this print cartridge. And it's going to cause a certain color to not print or cause an overall print quality issue. So what you're going to do after you, you've removed those. And also, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to have some full ink like this. Some brand new um, 3E ink for specifically for this printer. And uh, you can go ahead and buy that. Make sure you buy that if you're running low on your ink. That is the main culprit of this problem. So you're going to go ahead and just remove your print head just like that. And we're going to go ahead and clean it up. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to have it in a container just like this. All right, so once you have it here in this container, you're gonna to wanna to have a cleaning kit. It's gonna include a syringe just like this. Now I'm gonna include this cleaning kit in the description below so that you can go ahead and buy that. Very inexpensive, I highly recommend that you, you go get that and it's gonna have fitments as well and some gloves for you to go ahead and use. So, but once you have your syringe, you might not even have, you're not gonna to have to use your hand like this. You're gonna have some fitments, uh, but you're gonna put it right over here and you're just gonna push right through. Now you're gonna have some instructions that tell you to warm up the solution. You can do that, but I usually have you know pretty good luck without that. So if you noticed, I've used um, pretty much all my syringe on both of those nozzles, so don't be afraid to use up all this cleaning solution. Um, it's pretty inexpensive to get. If anything, maybe buy an extra uh, cleaning solution bottle so that you can you know have some enough for sure. So I'm just going over each one. Now I'm going over yellow, which is the last one. And if you notice here on the bottom, that's a bunch of ink that has just come out. That's exactly what you want it to be like. That's how it should look. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you can do that multiple times and I, I highly recommend that you do it multiple times so that it really gets cleaned out. And that's really just gonna clean whatever is clogged up in there. Then you're gonna go ahead and dry this up and we're ready to put it back. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and put this back along with our brand new ink. Now, if this was low ink, I would not be putting this back. I would be waiting, even if I had to wait a few days for it to come in the mail, for my ink to come back. So, if for whatever reason this ends up not working for you, you know, you end up having, you have an error code or whatever it is, this just doesn't work, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below also for a printer just like this and a few other ones that use similar ink so that you can go ahead and do that. I'm also going to leave a link to the print head. Um, so I, I'm just giving you a lot of different options here. The first option is to try to, you know, fix it, clean it out. Um, that's the cheapest route, but you can also get a new print head, new printer, um, or a different printer. Now, if you're, but I really hope this ends up helping. If you have any questions at all, uh, go ahead and comment below. Also make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I Thanks for watching and until next time.